Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick comparison uh, between Ubuntu 21.10 on the left and Ubuntu the Mate edition, also 21.10 on the right. So both the latest release versions here. So let's uh, start by loading up a few basic stats here, but we've got the Ubuntu, the Ubuntu Mate there. Now these are both... Uh, point releases so uh, they're not actually the long-term service release they're just the latest and greatest great for uh, I guess later versions of hardware such as video cards we also have uh, Wi-Fi cards all sorts of things like that CPUs as well the list goes on but um, we have the uh, let's see so 5.13 kernel for both of them as expected they are both uh, the latest releases there uh, Mate is based off Ubuntu and Ubuntu is based off Debian and so on etc there but uh, let's see, now the actual desktop environment itself is where these ones really differ. So the back end, exactly the same, the front end, a little bit different here. So we're using the GNOME desktop environment on the uh, left-hand side for Ubuntu, the default GNOME desktop environment. In fact, you can see it there, GNOME 40.5, latest release, there we go. It's got everything that you want it to do, a few apps, software, all sorts of things there. These icons feel a little bit small to me. You've got your, your multi-screens, all of that. Whereas we have on the right hand side, uh, oh, let's see if I can get out of that. The right hand side, we've got the Mate um, desktop environment. As we can see, the version 1.26 there. Nothing too much to write home about on that front though. Same context menus, basically, when you click it on there, same basic options there. A little bit more visualization, which is interesting to see. It's probably should be mentioned that the Mate edition of the desktop environment is actually based off uh, the original GNOME 2.0, 2.x, which is older versions of Ubuntu from and other actual Linux distributions from about 10, 15 years ago, which I actually seem to like. In fact, when Ubuntu started to bring out Unity and GNOME and these versions, I actually like to stay on this legacy mode because you've got the, the top task and the bottom task bars there. It's just... Uh, what everybody was originally used to. Some people, many people, still like this. Uh, I don't actually anymore. Uh, my main daily driver is Ubuntu, uh, the GNOME edition, like this one here. But it's uh, still very useful because we can uh, drag things up and down, do all things there. There we go, little file manager. Now, on the uh, topic of file managers there, let's see what we are dealing with. So, on the left-hand side, uh, the uh, the de facto, the GNOME files, so 40.2, as expected there. Whereas on the right-hand side, we're going to have a slightly more lightweight version, so the Kager file manager there. So, they both basically have the same abilities there. I like to see that we can open a terminal from the file. In fact, you've even got a few more options, it seems, there. But the options are for the Ubuntu, you'll find a few extras here and there. But um, hey, they do what you want them to do. They're both fairly lightweight, fairly usable. Ubuntu is the one obviously looks nicer with those nice um, color accents and tones and things of that nature there. But hey, you know, is what it is. Uh, last but not least, I like to sometimes have a bit of a look at the CPU and the RAM usage. CPU is always doing pretty fine, idling out there. The memory uh, or the RAM usage on boot up, so definitely Ubuntu is using a bit more with the GNOME desktop environment there. So we're using about 650 megabytes of RAM on boot up. Nothing else is really loaded in the background. Whereas on the right hand side for Ubuntu Mate uh, edition, we have 550 megabytes of RAM. So something to keep in mind when uh, you're using some older hardware, or if it's as a server, or maybe a mining rig, all sorts of things. You might want to use just the, the, the lower end one, perhaps, there. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, like, you know, all of the above. And uh, really, yeah, thanks for your time. And I uh, hope to see you all there in the next one. Cheers, guys. Ciao.